In this video, I'm gonna be answering a few frequently asked questions. Uh, it's the third video in the frequently asked questions series regarding uh, the Amazon affiliate websites. Uh, just a few questions that I've been getting. And we're also gonna be updating WooZone to version nine. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So this video is the third frequently asked questions video I've done around the Amazon affiliate websites, which hopefully you've been watching on my channel. If not, please do check out um, a playlist, which I'll put a link to uh, below or maybe a card will pop up as well. Um, check that out. But for those of you that have watched them, um, I've been getting a few questions. Um, so let's go through them and I'll try and answer them as best I can. And then towards the end of the video, we're gonna update WooZone to version nine, which hopefully will fix a few of the bugs and problems that you guys have been having. Um, it's also got some new features regarding getting images down from Amazon and stuff. So, uh, and, a, and a kind of new back end as well, I believe. So uh, yeah, we'll check that out um, towards the end of the video. Okay, the most popular uh, question that I've been getting is regards to the WooZone insane import mode that it has. You know, when you're importing your products from Amazon and you can queue up like a whole load of them and it, it sucks them all down from Amazon and adds them to your WordPress site, which is really cool um, when it works. And a few of you um, have been getting in touch with me and saying that it gets stuck. Um, so, you know, you queue up a load of products, it starts downloading them, it all looks good and then it just gets stuck. and. Um, you've got in touch with AA team, who are the people that make the uh, the plugin, and they've not been too helpful. So what I did, I've done some research into this, and as far as I can tell, it's down to your server memory allocation, which sounds quite scary. Um, but what I suggest, if you're having this problem um, where products are getting stuck when you're downloading, your first port of call is to get in touch with your host, whether that be HostGator or TSO Host or you know whoever you're using and ask them if they can increase your um, PHP memory on your server to at least 128 megabytes. Now, you can do this yourself by editing the WP config file, but probably if you don't wanna be doing that kind of stuff, it's best just to raise a ticket with your host, um, say you're getting memory problems, please can I have some more memory on my hosting, and they should be able to just make some configuration changes and get that up and running. So uh, good luck with that. I'd like to hear how you got on with that and whether that fixed your problem. Another question that I've been getting quite a lot of is how am I getting on with my zombie website and stuff and the tool website? Um, which is a great question. And obviously you wanna find out how much I'm earning and stuff. And well, if I'm being honest, it's a bit of a trickle. It's a few dollars a month at the moment. Uh, now there's a number of reasons for this. And I do suggest that if you haven't seen it already, you check out the success stories um, video. Again, I'll put a link to it. Uh, where I explain that maybe the zombie Merc uh, in terms of the of a niche um, was not particularly strong enough. And my other problem is just my time management, which is particularly poor. And I don't have much time, or don't seem to have much time, even though I've got the same amount of time as everyone else, but I never seem to have enough time to work on my Amazon affiliate websites um, because I'm making videos or I'm going out and seeing clients and stuff. So I've just not been working on them as much as I should in terms of adding content, building links, and all the stuff that I talk about in the um, the promoting series of videos, which again, you'll find on the channel where I talk about you know social media and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm good at talking about it, but I'm not so good at actually doing it. So in terms of my revenue, it's not particularly high, but if you do check out that success stories video, if you haven't watched it already, you will see that there is a number of guys that have been watching my videos and they've created an Amazon affiliate website and they are making some good money. So it can be done if you put the hours in, um, but me personally, I haven't put the hours in because I put a lot of my hours into these videos. Uh, and stuff like that. So uh, sorry about that, but I will try to and try and get a bit more revenue coming in so that we can make a video and everyone go, wee, we're making loads of money. But hey, until then, uh, please check out the Success Stories video. Okay, so finally, let's um, get on the computer and upgrade our WooZone plugin to version nine. Again, I'm hoping that if you are having any problems with WooZone, that this latest version hopefully will iron out any of those bugs and, and get you up and running. So uh, it's probably a good idea if you are running WooZone to update to the latest version. And I will show you how to do that right now. Okay, so I'm over at Code Canyon, uh, which is obviously where you get the WooZone plugin from. I'm gonna download the update. I should be able to find it under my download section. So let's go in here and I'm just gonna filter by Code Canyon. And there it is. 
So as you can see, uh, version nine, um, in theory, has got auto import of products. Uh, it's got a better remote image thing and a whole new framework. So sounds exciting. So let's uh, download it. Oh, I'm back in here again, hang on. Okay, download, I'm gonna download all files and documentation. Let's just save it somewhere that I can find it. Okay, so that's downloaded. I'm just gonna have a look at that on my computer. I'm gonna extract the zip file. And in there, there's another zip file, and that's the one we're gonna be uploading to the website. So in this tab here, I've got Zombie Merc, which is the first site that I made with Wuzo. So I'm gonna go into the dashboard, and then we're gonna go down to plugins and install plugins. What we're gonna do is remove uh, the WooZone that we've got running, so I'm just gonna de deactivate that. Back down here, then delete. Yes, delete. And now we can go to add new, and upload plugin, then choose file, and we're gonna find that um, file that we downloaded and extracted which is in here, it's this folder 9.0.1. This may change obviously as WooZone gets updated, but it'll be something like that. And then in there you've got your WooZone.zip. Let's click open and install now. It's just gonna upload. Here we go. Then we're gonna click activate. And here we are, we're into the new version. Now it looks like um, it's bought over my um, configuration by look of it, let's have a look. Nope, it hasn't. It hasn't got my keys in, as you can see, it says the demo access key. So what we're gonna do, uh, if we go into, um, where are we going? No, actually in here, we'll go to uh, bug fixes, scroll down and see here we've got this version nine options prefix change. Not quite sure what this does, but I think it fixes it. So select restore old version prior to nine settings, click do it now. So, well, oh. if we scroll up, um, there's the keys. So we're, um, we're pretty much all done. If we just go and check the, uh, the front of the website, uh, everything should still all be good. We've got our products and whatnot. Then if we just uh, check one of these products, see if it's still all working okay. Looks good, let's add to cart. All seems to be working. View our cart. Mm, yep, let's see if we go off to Amazon. Yay, so that's all done. So um, that concludes this video. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.